Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, hi, hello, my name is Lauren. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys something super duper exciting and something that I worked so hard on. I grew my small business's TikTok from literally 300 followers to over 20,000 new followers in less than a week. My mind is still blown at the success. And so of course I had to hop on here, record a video for you guys and share with you my exact strategy for what I've done that has allowed me to literally blow up and go viral overnight. The most important thing you need to know is that yes, this growth in followers increased my sales dramatically. I mean, I have had my highest sell days to date, like ever in any of my businesses, in any of my small businesses for three days in a row now. And each day it keeps just getting higher. So I'm kind of just constantly in this state of shock that like it's actually blowing up and like I'm experiencing this crazy TikTok viral. So many other small businesses have experienced. I could not help it. I needed to come and share with you guys exactly what I've been doing so that you can recreate it for your small business. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. The first thing I've done is made sure that I have really high quality. I use the iPhone 13 Pro Max to film like all of my videos for TikTok. This is my phone that I personally use and it films amazingly. I have also had the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it literally films just the same, probably a little cheaper than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. If you're gonna use your iPhone for filming, make sure you have the recording settings set as high as you can go. Make sure it's on 4K if that's what it offers, as well as 60 frames per second when you're filming your videos. I'll put a little thing on the screen so you guys can see it in your settings on how to make sure that you have that turned on. This is the number one thing that you need to make sure you have because that high quality content really sticks out on TikTok and people love it. They're like, oh my gosh, what are you filming with? This looks so clear and great. And I'm like, it's my phone. It literally is just my phone. The second thing that I have done that was part of my strategy was making my videos really short in time. So I try and keep all of my videos under the 15 second, preferably under 12 seconds. I think having those shorter videos makes it easier for people to watch them over and over on repeat before scrolling. And that actually leads to more views and more people. And then TikTok continues to push out your content into the For You page, which then just increases your views and hopefully more followers too. That has definitely been very important. And I've actually noticed a difference between a video where I have posted it and it was like a minute long. And then a video where I've posted it and it was literally like less than 15 seconds and one went viral and one did not. And I've noticed that for several of my different videos now that the short ones tend to do the best. The third part of my strategy was probably one of the most important parts and it was using trending sounds. So specifically what I would do is I actually ended up following a lot of accounts for people who were professionals on TikTok and they were telling me, they were like, look, this sound is blowing up currently. Here's how to do the trend. Just go ahead and go make it now because you're going to pop up as it's a new sound. And then therefore you're going to go viral easier when the sound starts taking off more. These are people who are TikTok professionals. They go out there and they find these trends early on so that you can catch them and you can create content to do well for them. These accounts have literally saved my life and saved me so much time and research. So definitely finding those and following them is a big help. I would also just scroll through the For You page and see what sounds were popping up and what videos other people were making and then either send the video to myself to remind myself to make it or just pop up the screen right then and there and create the video as best as I could. And I didn't focus so much on perfection, but more or less just getting the content up, like doing it quickly, just getting it out there so that I was catching on to the trend early on. Find those accounts if you can that help you get ahead on the trends. They tell you what's trending so you don't have to do all the hard work or spend some time each day scrolling through the For You page and sending yourself videos that you want to create and then just creating a bunch of them at a time. That's where you're gonna find a lot of those different trends and trending sounds that you can use to create your content. I think the trending sounds has honestly made the most difference though because following the trend and trending sounds has actually allowed me to go viral a lot more easier. I've noticed that like with my small account, I was getting thousands and thousands of views, which literally ended up blowing my account up over this past week, which is crazy. And I think that's probably one of the number one reasons that it did go viral. Instead of me just creating like my own type of content, I made sure to focus on creating a ton of trending viral content. The fourth part of my strategy was hashtags. I do use hashtags on every single TikTok that I upload. However, 
I only use niche related hashtags and I only use three to five of them. So for every video, I would choose the most relevant hashtags to that content and what my page is about overall. So for me, I talk a lot about digital planning, digital planners. So I would always add hashtag digital planner or hashtag digital planning to my captions in the hashtags so that they would still show up as relevant content for people who are interested in those things because that's what my whole account is about. But I would also include other niche related hashtags that people were going to be able to use to help find my videos as well as to help TikTok to properly label and show people my videos that wanted to see that type of content. The fifth part of my strategy is again probably one of the main reasons I was able to blow up so quickly in conjunction with the trending sounds. Obviously all of these are important but I think that the trending sounds of this tip are probably what had the most effect on my viral growth. This tip is that I was uploading multiple times a day. For me, that meant three to five times a day. I was not creating brand new content for this every single time. I had been already filming me doing digital planner things and using my products, uh, basically just content that was relevant to my digital planner business and creating a ton of videos already. So I was just reusing a ton of those clips over and over again to put them with those trending sounds and then just create three to five videos a day. Because I already had a bunch of those clips already filmed, I was able just to repurpose them over and over again to create multiple videos. And I didn't have to waste a ton of time doing it. And I was able to get a lot more content out of just those few videos that I recorded. However, the three to five has definitely been incredibly beneficial to me. I know there are people out there who say like, you need to be uploading like X number of days or else she won't grow. Definitely test out and see what works for you. But most importantly, see what you can do consistently. Because if you can consistently upload one video a day, that's going to give you growth still it's just gonna be a little slower. However, if you can do three to five a day, or if you can even do 10 to 20 a day, that'd be crazy. But if you could do it, because the more you can upload, the faster you're gonna be able to grow on TikTok. And that's where a lot of people don't even believe that, but it is so true. Giving yourself so many more opportunities for your videos to get out there and be in front of more people and get more followers, it just explodes your page. The more content that you share, the more opportunities you have to get in front of people. So of course, more content should equal more views and more views should equal more followers and more followers should equal more sales on your small business. And the last part of my strategy was that I actually commented back to every single person who commented on my videos. This was doubling my engagement every Every single time someone would comment. So instead of just having one comment on there, I would also respond now making it two, which again, just increases that engagement rate on the video, which shows TikTok that people are interested in it and that I respond to people. And so they're going to keep continuing to push that video out. Plus a lot of people were asking questions about my products. And so I was able to answer their questions, direct them towards my shop and show them and tell them what they need to buy because they were interested in buying what I was sharing. And that honestly, I think has led to so many sales because I've been so interactive and engaging with every single person that comes onto my page. Overall, I also wanted to mention that I really focused less on super salesy tactics and more of an indirect marketing style. So what I mean by this is that instead of creating a video saying, here's my digital planner, go and buy it from my Etsy shop. I would instead create a video centered around digital planning that I I would have my product in the video. I wouldn't say, hey, this is mine, go and buy it from my shop. It would just be in the video and I would just show me using it with the trending sound and my hashtags, right? And I would post it. And then you automatically get people who either A, understand that this is your product and they can go look in your bio to try and buy it. Or B, you have people who comment asking, where can I get that? What is that? How do you do that? What are you using? I need to know these details. And then you engage in the comment section, you answer their questions and you tell them where to go and you send them to your store. Alrighty guys, question of the day for you. Are you on TikTok for your small business? If you are, let me know down below in the comments. Link your TikTok so we can all go follow and support each other. I cannot wait to hear from you guys. Right here on the screen, you're gonna find another video that I think you'll find helpful as well as an entire playlist full of other small business related tips and tricks. And down here, you're gonna find my subscribe button where you can stick around for new videos. I upload every Tuesday and Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. And without further ado guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.